when we started to think about the Globe's 75th anniversary and how to honor that and remember that, it felt like that, that vision of people coming together to share a really unique experience and to celebrate the city they live in and the sort of amazing things that human beings are capable of, that was the, the spirit in which this began. Hi, I'm Karen. I'm really excited to be here today. I've been waiting for a chance like this for a long time because I haven't been a play in a few years. My name's Ken Burnett. This is my first production with the Old Globe. I am extremely ecstatic about being part of this dynamic team, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm Edward Cow. I went to an audition and I got in, and I'm very excited. I love the Old Globe Theater. Into the Woods came from here, so I'm glad I'm here. So <laughs> and I have no idea what's ahead of me. I'm, I'm just ready to listen and react. <laughs> this, this is the beginning of the magic that is going to unfold over the next five weeks. And you guys um, who are here tonight, you are the core company of this new musical, The Odyssey. There are more people that are going to be joining us along the way. We have the core company is, uh, I think, 45 people. Um, we also have, we are going up to 200 eventually. I will explain how that is possibly happening as we go on. Yes, my, my name is Lamin. I'm from Senegal, West Africa. I'm a dancer, choreographer, and actor. And I'm a percussionist also. And, uh, it is a pleasure to be here, because this is what I'm looking for, you know? <laughs> I'm Darlene Davies. I first appeared on the Globe stage in the first Christmas musical the Globe ever produced, The Rose and the Ring, and I was a woodcutter's child and a fairy in 1952. And I have no idea if I will know what to do when I stand on the stage named for my wonderful husband, Lowell Davies. Okay. Hi, I'm Kim Duclo. I'm a park ranger here in Balboa Park, and I'm super excited to find out what I'm going to be doing in the uh, production of Odyssey. I can't wait to find out, like all the rest of the people here. So the Odyssey is, you know, this classical story that's been around for thousands of years about someone trying to get home, someone trying to get back to their home, and the many crazy, magical, horrible adventures that, that they have on that journey. Um, so this vision started to emerge of what if we made a San Diego specific version of the Odyssey? What if we told that story, the story of Odysseus' journey home, but what if we did it in collaboration with these, all of these amazing people that we're talking with and we're getting to know here? And so we started to imagine this version and what that would be like, and we thought, well, you know, what if what if the voice of Athena, there's a moment that, you know, Odysseus hears the gods. What if that was the choir from St. Stephen's Church? And what if the park rangers, Ranger Kim is right over there. What if the park rangers were Penelope's suitors? And what if the drum line from Valhalla was the palace guard? And this vision started to emerge of featuring all of these amazing things as part of telling this story. Hi, my name is Katie Ward. I'm going to be playing one of the cow yokes, and I am very excited for this opportunity with the Old Globe. My name is Alex, and I play Telemachus, <laughs> and I'm very excited to be here. Very excited. <laughs> Hi, my name is Asia Fields. I'm so happy to be in this play, and I just can't wait to get started. So my name is Martin Marcurena. Uh, I'm the dude with the guitar in Odyssey, and I'm really, really excited to be here. It's going to be awesome, and I'm looking forward to working with you guys. Hi, my name is Delaysia Cannon, and I'm really happy to be doing the Odyssey. I've been begging my mom about it. So yeah, that's it. Culture Shock, which is a hip-hop dance company, is in the show. They play the Phaeacians. So like when Odysseus lands on the shore and there are these like fun-loving, beautiful people, Culture Shock comes running out and dances. Um, it will be amazing. When Odysseus goes to the underworld, um, everyone that he meets in the underworld is a child. We have junior theater. Um, is partnering with, uh, with us. So we have, you know, when he sees his mother in the afterlife, she's a child. She's like a six-year-old girl. Um, the Youth Symphony is scoring the Dream Ballet, the moment when Odysseus actually finally does return home. Todd Almond has written this, like, seven-minute piece of symphonic music for 18 musicians. The Youth Symphony is going to play that for us. 
So my name is Jessica Brandon, and this is my first production with the Old Globe Theatre. I'm really excited, and especially to be performing outdoors in the beautiful Belleville Park. Hi, my name is Dylan Hoffinger, and I'm here with the Odyssey at the Potluck. Um, I recently won uh, the 2011 Globe Honor for Outstanding Achievement in Musical Theatre, and I'm beyond words excited to finally be making my debut in a Globe production. Hi, I'm Erin. I'm super excited to be here. I can't wait to start and great, meet new great people. <laughs> my name is Will Herrera, and I am here to be in the Old Globe play of the Odyssey. Uh, I am one of Odysseus men, and um, yeah, I, I think that's it. I have an idea that every piece of art that's made, every play, every musical, is sort of proposing a view of the world in, in what it puts out there, right? It's proposing a way to understand reality. And, um, and I think in this country, a lot of times, the way that, that the arts happen um, is sort of a mirror of the rest of society. And the idea that actually the arts could be leading the way and proposing even like a better future and a better world than, than we already have is very, very exciting. And I think what we're proposing with this piece is a vision of a unified, joyful city, you know, a place where we celebrate each other. And that's, um, I think that's an exciting thing to put forward to the world and to to propose.